There is one defender and one attacker in Rainbow Six right now that are both so good that you should be bringing them every single round in your lineup whether it's you or a teammate that that's bring them they're going to boost your win percentage significantly and that's what we're going to talk about today hello and welcome back to think like a champion where i a champion r6 player explain my thoughts and plans so that you too can think like an r6 champion we have a match here on coastline today starting out on the attack and the first operator the attacker that you need to always have in your lineup because they are so strong with no plans of being nerfed in the future is Ying. Ying is an incredible operator. She has so much utility. Four candelas, two smoke grenades, plus the candela shootout, other mini projectiles that can burn ADSs, burn Midas, and do so much. So, actually, sorry, they can only get the ADSs. The, the little the little spews of the inner candela does not catch Womites, but does uh, burn ADSs. So, we're going to use her today. Now, the thing about Ying and why she is so good is because people just don't play Warden as much anymore. Warden's ability... It's good, Hello? but ever since he lost 1.5, people are picking him less. Now, he is picked sometimes, but most of the Warden players are like aggro freaks who are dead What's in the first up? 20 seconds. So that's typically the way it goes. W. Now, we got our teams yapping already. That's a good sign. Um, but how do we use Ying? Like, how do we actually make her as strong as I'm saying that Nothing she is either. right now? Uh, right on. The first step, if you're on a map like Coastline, is going directly into sight. If they don't have the Warden, you can use the Candelas and the Smokes to block off angles, flashbang everyone, get aggressive, and play off that utility to get kills, get control, plant the bomb, pay a plus plant, win the round. Especially, there's a lot of people that watch my channel I know are like in the lower ranks, like Copper, Silver. If you're in those ranks, it is so, so easy to attack because you can do these site, direct sight takes so much easier. Um, so bring the Operator. Oh, that was a crazy Vigil Boss G spawn peak. I actually really like that. I might steal that, actually. Oh, he is still there. I'm gonna get him. He can't see me through the bushes, so I'll just use that to my advantage with the wall hacks. Nice. All right, so lost a little bit of health, but that's fine. We're gonna go for this hookah take still. Do you have to be careful with the sunrise run out? Let's quickly make our way up here, pre-fire a little bit so we don't get killed. Almost kill my teammate, huge plays. Now we're gonna drone it out. This is where we just look at what's going on. We don't want to hit this goo mine, so let's ping that. Can you shoot this, Ash? Ping that. Now there is a cool vibes rotate, but nobody actually in the bomb site. So I'm reloading. Smoke this off. Smoke this off. Smoke this off. Oh, I dropped the bomb. I'm so silly. We use this sound as cover. We do have to push up on this guy now. Unfortunate. I probably could have just planned the bomb. I thought he was going to actually push in off those Jane Candelas uh, and getting the kill. I thought he'd push in through Hookah after killing my teammate, but he didn't. So I read that wrong, but I could have just planted the bomb on the doorway, especially in the copper lobbies. Um, just a little slight error there. I was just saying how easy it is to do, and then I completely mess it up. Um, all right, so rough start, but you know, it's cool. We'll win the next round. It's not a big deal. That's part of being a champion player and thinking like a champion is you just gotta, you gotta brush off the mistakes. Yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah, I haven't been playing this game very much and I'm gonna make those dumb mistakes. It's gonna happen. I have to be okay with that because I know I can come back in the next round or, or, or just play even better the next round, essentially. So keeping a positive mindset is a very, very important part, uh, which we do advocate for pretty frequently on this channel if you've been here a few times, which most of you guys have watched this half. So, hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? How you doing, eh? All right, so we got, wow, that guy got slammed. Next round, we'll try again. We do have the defender. Once we switch to the defense, we'll talk about the defender and why they're so good. And this one is a crazy one for me, which we'll get into it. We'll get into it when we get there because I'm still blown away. Now, the thing about Ying is sometimes people will pick the Warden after knowing you have the Ying. So this is A, a good opportunity to switch to another operator where you can switch to like someone else and now they're forced to bring the warden in fear of you actually bringing that ying and then they're not actually achieving anything with his utility so that's a good way to force people onto warden if you want to do it that way but you can still continue to run ying and use it almost as a distraction still there's just so much you can do and they're so loud and they're so effective um so yeah like you can play her as a roam clear you can use her her candelas to blind people on the roam with the info combo from your drones you can use her as a site execute. You can use her as a cover. Of course, she is going to be even stronger when you have a stack, when you have a team that's able to work off of that utility as well. I'm surprised they didn't go kitchen. They went penthouse. Okay, so 
We could go for that VIP wall, or we could come through like Aqua or Hookah and try to take some control that way. Now, what is your other utility? Heartbreach tools, right? I could actually even bring the Heartbreach tools and get the other wall. Um, just because we don't have a Heartbreach and hoping that wall is very, very strong. However, my utility doesn't really add, like give me the advantage of getting off the wall denial. So that would be a little silly when I could just pick someone else to do that. So I'm going to bring the smokes, keep the smokes, and keep that like heavy utility aspect of being alive because utility is a massive factor in this game and if you can use it to your advantage and that you have the more you have the, essentially the higher chance you are going to win if you're if you're if you're playing that way at least which i think is the best way to play the game i have i have my philosophy you have yours uh, if they don't line up they don't line up you know care for the spawn peaks so we're gonna try to go for like a penthouse window maybe a vip Esque kind of take. We don't have to be careful of this boss G. This vigil with the boss G is a freaking freak. Just spray into the doorway. That's another perk that Ying has is this LMG, dude. This LMG is disgusting. The fact you can just hold down the trigger and just pew, pew, pew. It's great. So I'm just going to bait for a bit. We have time. Try to get a few picks. I mean, there's no holes in the floor, so I could theoretically just drop this hatch. Which I probably will do. Do I have my other drone? Did I lose it? I think I lost it. That's unfortunate. Being able to drone would be nice. But luckily, we have utility on Ying that actually works without um, without needing drones. Because you can use the candelas as a drone-like thing. I am just going to open that hatch with the LMG. You can't do this. Uh, you can use the candelas. It's something in replacement for your drone to clear angles and clear rooms. I think you could still do this. Maybe you can't. Imagine I just had a secondary shotgun this whole time. Guys, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. It's possible, I'm telling you. See? See? It was that easy. That was the easiest thing in my life. So we can use this to clear that. Oh, there was in theater. One in theater. That's too bad. So yeah, obviously I had a drone. It would've been a little easier. I knew the vigil was somewhere in there. Nice play from Mav. 1v1. Last one's in theater. Straight ahead, straight ahead. Careful. Oh my god, this guy might be... Is this guy cheating? How does he know he's not in theater? He just sprinted into sight with full confidence knowing he wasn't in there. We have been eliminated. Our Maverick might be cheating, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know how he knew he was here. Maybe he got some different info. Maybe this Vigil is cheating. I don't know. There's so many cheaters in this game. What's new? Absolutely nothing. But that's fine, because that's not what we're here to learn. We're here to learn why you should always bring Ying and why you should always bring Malusi. And, uh... Unloading an entire mag on a hatch probably wasn't my greatest idea, but I was already I was already so far gone. I had to finish it off for you guys. For your guys' sake, I had to finish opening the hatch. Um, and we did, and we did. And honestly, it wouldn't have made a difference either either way. If I kill the frost and die to the vigil, the vigil still wins it, so whatever. Alright, last round on attack. Uh, I'm not doing a great job of showing off Ying's prime features, but hey. Let's get active. You know, you know, you can't win them all. You can't win every round, guys. That's that's part of this. That's part of this series. It's part of the the raw nature of think like a champion. Is sometimes you lose rounds, sometimes you win them, but the game is not over until it's over, and that will always be the motto. We're going on to defense next round. We'll talk about the defender um, that you should bring every single round, and see if they have it on the other team. All right, I will give you a hint. It is one of the five operators on the other team right now. Can you guess? Guess in the comments. Who do you think it is? Who do you think it is? Take your guess now before it's too late, before it's next round and I reveal. All right, so what are we dealing with? We have quite a bit of trap utility, Malusi, Legion. Uh, and Malusi has four now, so that's going to be even more difficult to deal with. And then the goo mines as well. So it's going to be a, it's gonna be difficult to hit the site, especially the fact they brought the, the warden now as well. However... Still got Ying's prime features. And distraction is one of them. Can you still run up here? Yeah, you can, eh? I wonder what this guy is shooting at. I'm gonna drone this real quick, see if I could potentially just take this. Where's this warden? This guy's on the B bomb, that's the vigil. The warden's gonna come in on that. Interesting play by Captow just smoking down. So. I'm gonna kill this vigil, I think. I'm still behind blue bar. There's that vigil. 
It's a little pixel angle now. This is the warden. I'm gonna ging as a bait and then just hold the angle and wait for him to swing. Sounds like his glasses actually ran out right there. Put it back up. Nice. My team came from the back. There's that distraction tactic I was talking about. Okay, this dog is in the bathroom. I clearly saw him. We're yeeting him. He shot. No. He sprayed. I, I'm pretty sure the first candela blind him. He still just sprayed it. Wow. Uh, I didn't need to push. Could have just blind him and, and planted the bomb. But I figured he'd be fully blind. I had a massive advantage. So definitely, I, I think pushing is still the play, but... Maybe not with the diffuser. Maybe I should have dropped the diffuser first or something. That was a little silly goofy. He's kitchen door. Kitchen door right now. Call him out. Ping him. There we go. Good round. There we go. See the comeback. The comeback. Uh, we saw the distraction tax on the warden. Like, we're throwing flash at the warden, but because we drone him, we know it's warden. We know he has the goggles. So we're hoping he swings off of that, Good thinking shit. we're pushing through aggressively off the candelas. Um, and he didn't end up doing that, but it was enough that he was distracted with me and couldn't hear my teammates pushing from behind because the candelas are so loud. So that's just one reason why they're so good. And the reveal for the best defender that you should always be bringing in your games is Malusi. Hands down, dude. Hands down, Malusi. You don't have to run her. I know it sucks that she doesn't have the ACOG, so her gun's not as powerful, but having four Banshees and the secondary shotgun and impacts she has so much powerful utility that is so so strong right now this is honestly one of the craziest changes i've seen i'm I, the second they made this change i was mind blown i was like why would you do like it is insane you should be running her every literally every round you can ban brava if you really want to make it even better but this is so much utility that gives you so much information essentially the entire site you have information on now you know every area they could push you you're not going to get caught by a single guy just walking straight into site just crouch walking alt walking into site whatever you want to call it um because you just have it's, it's essentially a full just barrier it's a barrier of information that stops the other team from being able to get past because there's no operators that can just sneak past malusis right like if not could get past some malusis it might change things a little bit but she can't like nobody can without destroying them beforehand and the brava hacks are loud you'll hear it or you'll see it and know that it's hacked um and if you're keeping your eyes open for for bravas it's just it's just so good this is like the ultimate anchor is just malusi and it's it's actually ridiculous the fact that they gave her four um so yeah i mean what's what's not to love what's not to love the secondary shotgun like you can even make vert holes with secondary shotgun there's a lot there's a lot of advantages to it um even just something like this where you're watching the doorway now i understand the aqua box open so that's something we have to be aware of i think it was our teammate that opened that so like you can watch this you know i don't know it's just so good it's just so good uh and the fact she has impacts too like great for countering shields now my whole team is getting slammed so that's not helping her case whatsoever but hey sometimes Sometimes your team is just simply the in the worst team. Uh, this guy said nice cheats. I wouldn't be surprised if this buck was cheating, honestly. Just based off the vigil gameplay of him like going outside and stuff. That's a crazy nade. There is one. Nice shot. Wow. There's that Monty. The buck is behind him. Planting. Oh, it's a 1v1, nice. Dang it! Should have won that. Oh, I, I think, yeah, I think he is actually cheating, so. Either that or he's just quick peeking. I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to say. It's really hard to say, who knows. Either way, I probably should have won that. Uh, I didn't realize I downed the Monty till after I was trying to back up and get into a spot where it was actually safe to play the cover of the bomb. But I could have just sat in the reinforcement. It's just such an awkward fight on that reinforcement because it's hard to tell which of the which of the sides he's going to sometimes. Um, but hey, we almost had it. We almost had the one before, but maybe next time. You could tell from the Malusi though. What really helped me there was the Wubs. I could hear them pushing Aqua side because of the Malusi Wub on that billiard table that I had um it also slowed the guy on cool vibe stopped him from pushing right away it slowed the guy vip hall so it allowed me to take those 1v1 fights easier because it gave me the time to do it so even though it doesn't it didn't really seem like they did anything they really did they actually did like it didn't seem like when you're watching it like they did anything but for me as a player it gave me a massive advantage so um 
I don't know what's going on in the chat. Who knows what's happening? You never know. Cheaters everywhere. Nothing is new. It's something I'm kind of just over at this point. You know, people are going to cheat and there's going to be cheaters. And I'm going to still try to teach you guys how to play the game because, you know, that's what you're here for. So that's what I'll be here for. We'll do the same Malusis. I think those were all very useful. Uh, and again, just gave us that surround sound, essentially, of the site. Put this one up on the billiard table. Now, we don't have a rotate yet, but no problem. We got the Malusi shotgun. They gave her a shotgun along with the four Banshees, which was absolutely insane. Still, it blows my mind crazy. Um, should make a cool vibe rotate as well. I might even use my impact at this point just because it is 2 minutes and 40 in the round. But actually, we got drone hold from VIP. That's tough. Push drone, not going to do anything. Oh, cool vibes. That was silly of me. I actually didn't hear him. I thought I would get more of a heads up before I heard him, but it was it was far too late. So that was a bit of a bit of a prank. All right. Well, hey, we lost the game. Had some reverse friendly fire. Uh, some small mistakes that that costed us, but we tried our best, and maybe we'll get them next time, guys. Hope you learned something. We'll see you on the next video. Run Ying, run Malusi. They are nasty. Get them in your lineup every single time. Peace out, boys.